Hello, this is Carolyn Eslick, representative for the 39th District. We're here in Darrington, the town of Darrington, which is located 90 miles northeast of Seattle. We're here today to talk about some of the projects that we help fund in the capital budget this year. The town of Darrington is at the foot of Whitehorse Mountain, 549 feet above Puget Sound. With lots of hiking, fishing, and rafting, this town is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. Darrington is a small town. It's also a mill town. Unlike many other Pacific Northwest towns whose mills are closing, Darrington continues to thrive. Hampton Mills is a lumber yard in Darrington that utilizes commercial and industrial waste from an on-site mill to produce electricity. The facility employs approximately 175 people. Opening more than a century ago, the Monroe Correctional Complex is the second largest prison in the state. It houses more than 2,400 inmates. During the 2018 session, I was able to work with my colleagues to allocate $250,000 in the state budget so that Monroe Correctional Complex can purchase electricity sourced by Hampton Mills. This project is a great example of the state and industry working together to produce more innovation responsive to the unique needs of local communities and industries. The Monroe Correctional Complex is a great example of the public-private partnership that we have helped to fund this year and to help jobs in our small rural areas, especially like this one here in Darrington. The capital budget helps to fund many local projects such as the rodeo project in Darrington. As a member of the House Capital Budget Committee, I was able to secure $250,000 in the supplemental capital budget for renovations at the Darrington Rodeo Grounds. I was glad to be part of bringing these state dollars to Darrington. The money will help renovate and update the bleachers, fencing, arena lights, driveways, and walkways. Even more importantly, construction improvements will provide better accommodations for people with disabilities, including ramps, seating, and parking that is closer and more accessible. The arena lights will be more efficient and save money, and the new ticket booth will help lower to help serve seniors and those with handicaps. Darrington is a great destination for weddings, horses, or equestrian events. The World Archer Championship as well as the National Championships for the local archery club. With these improvements, even more opportunities to attract people will come. This funding does more than just improve the rodeo grounds. It's an investment in the economy and people of Darrington that will benefit many generations to come. These are just a few of the projects that we've helped to fund this year in the capital budget. If you want more information, please come to my website. I can be a better effective representative if you keep in touch. Contact me through email, texting, phone calls. I'm available. Thank you and have a great day.